My longtime friend, the homie right here, Chris Spencer, is in the building. What's up, man? You tell me, baby. How you feeling? Well, no, how are you feeling? It's all about you right now. You it know is what I'm about saying? me, isn't it? It is about you. And I need you. to celebrate that as well as everybody else. Because everybody is celebrating you, so celebrate yourself. It's hitting Thank theaters you, today. Can we talk about it? Absolutely. Ask me any question you want to know. I love the title back on the strip because yes. you've done some things on Sunset Strip, yes. Melrose, yes. Hollywood Strip. And yeah, Crenshaw. That's a strip. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. How long you been sitting on this one, though? So about seven or eight years ago, I was in an airport in Vegas. Okay. And you know how you come down the escalator and you see thunder down under, and you see these big-ass buff Australian dudes? Yes. And I'm like, I've been seeing this poster for about 20 years. These dudes got to be old by now. <laughs> right? So that was one fold. Second, right. my brother-in-law, Adam Rodriguez, was in Magic Mike. Okay. And I was like, huh. I wonder what some old ass Magic Mics would look like, <laughs> right? <laughs> I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do an urban version and call it my Magic Johnson. <laughs> And then I called Magic, and he was like, nah, nah, we ain't going to do that. Magic wouldn't let you do that? <laughs> nah, that's not what we going to do. That would have been a great title for the movie, though. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> but, you know, in respect to him and Cookie, of course, we did not. But Back on the Strip has a kind of a double entendre. It They're does. back to stripping, and we're on the Las Vegas Strip. Hmm. And I've been very fortunate. You know, it's about this young magician who can't get no magic work in L.A., and he goes to Vegas, <laughs> and he ends up becoming... A stripper. Got to pay the bills. Got to pay the bills <laughs> at all costs. You, and there's no such thing as no or can't do in Vegas. So no. he meets up with Wesley Snipes. He has a gift, by the way. This young man has a gift. Okay. He, his magic wand is bigger than others. <laughs> and so that's when Wesley says, yo, man, we back in business. And then they assemble all the other chips, which is Faison Love, J.B. Smooth, wow. Gary Owen, and Bill Bellamy. And when I say these dudes are bananas. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, at the helm and, and not in no kind of way second place is Tiffany Haddish. Amazing. Yeah, it's The amazing. cast alone is amazing. And you think about all those dudes. How do you get through a scene? Like, seriously. It was hard, especially because I had a 28-day shoot that they truncated down to 20. Okay. So now we're rushing. Mm -hmm. And you got to remember, these dudes are incredible ad-libbers. So it was like, yo, can y'all stop so we can get out of here? <laughs> and then there's more work for you in the editing room because yes. they've said so many great things. You're like, yeah. what do I keep? What do you keep? And what even made it even, this is how I know it was great. When I would say, all right, cut, that's a wrap for you, Bill Bellamy. 30, 40 minutes later, I still see him on the set. <laughs> I said, why don't you leave? He goes, man, it's, it's too much fun out here. I'm chilling. It, it was one of those things, right? And then to work with Wesley Snipes. You know what I mean? I'm, this is my directorial debut. Come on, man. Come, let's talk about it. Let's get a round of applause for and that. I, let's talk about it. How big was that, It was intimidating. Because I'm like, yo, that's Nino Brown. But it's long overdue for you, Chris. I mean, you understand oh, you, how man. much work you put into this game over the last couple of decades? Thank you, man. I mean, from BET right. to everything. Right. Real husbands. Yeah. But let me tell you what's great about Wesley. Okay. So we're in awe of Wesley. Mm -hmm. All of us are like, yo, white man can't jump. Too Wong Fu. Wildcats, the bad video. Uh, Mo Better, you know, his credits, you know, are insane. Yes, they are. But at the same time, he was in awe of us. Mm. He made us feel at ease. Because, you know, like all those credits you named, I mean, he's... He he seen all of our specials. Yeah. He's seen us on BET Comic View, Def Jam, Tonight Show, Arsenio, Lopez Show. So it was great for him to look up to us as, just as much as we looked up to him. Yeah, man. Yeah. Matter of fact, he loved us so much, he would record us clowning throughout the day and then send it to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was he was dope. Yo, dude, uh, it's had to be magical on the set, man. Oh my God. Think about it. Once again, Chris Spencer hanging out the K-Day Morning Show. My longtime brother, congratulations, directorial debut. Yeah. And I'm telling you, again, the cast that you have for this front to back, it's like you know what it's going to be when you buy the ticket today. Listen, you have no idea what it's going to be. It's sillier than you think. You know what I mean? I didn't want to make a movie with these deep messages. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? They do old school and hangover and bridesmaids and they get just to be they get to be silly. Right. Now, although there are some little itty bitty messages, this ain't a message movie. This is a movie to take you away from all the BS that's going on in the world today. It's a lot going on. And I'm, I'm glad, glad we're that. in the theater. <laughs> Come on, say it again. Listen, Netflix and chill was great. Right. But I, I want to smell popcorn. Jujubes, red yeah. vines. 
And to all, no, not nasty ass Twizzlers to you, hey, East hey, Coast hold, people. Hold on now. I like Twizzlers. Come red on, Chris. Red vines, homie. I like Twizzlers. Red vines is like a, a, a red candle with a uh, with sugar on it. Although, whenever I take a poll to see which one people like most, they always say red vines. Well, you, I lose you, that battle. You do the poll out here or you do it nationwide? I, I, I do it out here. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because man. LA, we love red vines. That's how we grew up. Okay. But, uh, but they're right, though. <laughs> They're absolutely <laughs> right. All right, man. When we come back, I'm going to go ahead and hop into this record right here. When we come yes. back, we're going to talk about more about the movie. And, you know, the strike is going on, too, man. You know a lot of people have been affected yes. by that. Yes. So can we speak on that as absolutely, well? Absolutely, because our promotions <laughs> are a little halted from it. We'll Chris Spencer hanging out with the K-Day Morning Show. Back on the strip in theater starting today. Don't cheat yourself. Go treat yourself, man. Go to the movie. Go buy that ticket right now. We're coming back in about five minutes. My longtime brother, Chris Spencer, in-studio directorial debut right going there. down. Let me tell you something what's going on right there back on the strip in theaters today and you're on your ig live and you got so much support coming through man how's that Thank make you, you feel it's incredible man you know uh the sag strike affected us because yeah. they were telling us that we should not promote right we can't promote our movies we can't promote our old movies so Why if i did do that because they want to stick it to the man because the man is killing us mm -hmm. the big corporations by not giving us the proper residuals they're not, uh, you know, streaming came out and it's like, yeah. they're, telling us, <laughs> they're telling us they can't track the streaming. Right. If they, can track, if they can track a song, how many times it's played, you can tell me how many times my TV show played. If you can For put example, a location in your phone, they can track you, all that, they can do yeah, that. If, real Husbands, right? We did it on BET. Yes. It's in the Viacom family, but they could take, put it on Comedy Central, they could put it on MTV and not give us another check. Are you crazy? No, it's not. And then now I look up, if Real Husbands is on... Uh, Netflix, Amazon, Hulu. I can't get another check. Doesn't add up at all. It and I just saw something how like traditional t TV and regular cable is just going down so much because everyone's on these apps. So uh, they yes. got to figure it out for you guys. They got to figure it out. So SAG actually wants you to do what we did, which was go independent. Hmm. So we're on 1,300 screens from going independent. 1,300 screens. That means screens. we didn't need the man Come on, to get yourself. his distribution. My friend Gino Taylor of uh, GVN Releasing and Distribution Got us 1,300 screens. And I know that because they believe in what they see. They believe in the product. They believe in the product. And um, I, brought, you know, I brought them the talent, and they were like, yo, what, what is the script? Let's yeah. go. Man. And that's what Screen Actors Guild wants. So all of my friends out there who are in the Screen Actors Guild and are leery, talk to your manager, agent, mm -hmm. publicist, and just say, hey, you know, Chris Spencer told me that they have a waiver. Am I allowed to promote? And they will tell you yes. Okay. But if you don't ask, then you won't know that, right? You won't know. So let me ask and you this. And if you don't ask, you don't love Chris Spencer and his family. <laughs> and you want my kids to, uh, to return from university and go to Pasadena City College. They need to eat. They need to eat they for sure. They need to eat. I need braces. So you have your pulse on what's going on with the whole strike. Do you think it's going to go to the end of the year or you think it may happen and come to an end pretty soon? What do you think? So the Writers Guild strike, I think, is going to come closer to an end before the Screen Actors Guild strike, right? Okay. They've been striking longer. And I've been hearing uh, a buzz uh, that, you know, they're getting closer to negotiations. And I think if they get close, then Screen Actors Guild will soon follow, mm -hmm. hopefully, because you can't make no movies without no actors. Can't do that. You can't make no movies without no writers. And I don't want to hear about the whole AI thing. No. no oh, yeah. That's a me. whole different. Yeah, that's. Uh -uh. Like, you, how much do you guys love money that you don't want to share all of that money with us? That part. That's a lot of money. You can't even spend it all. No, they've done it for years, man. They got to keep cutting that check. That is for real. So you've had this long career. You've had so much success. Uh, I've never heard anything bad about you, bro. Like, real talk. I'm not just saying that because you're here in front of me because you're my dog. All Thank that you, stuff. Man. There was a couple of times in the entertainment league where yeah, I yeah, felt yeah. like I should have started and I didn't. But right. that's a whole different You know what? Subject. It's because I assembled the team. You were definitely <laughs> better than me, but it was my team. <laughs> And that's how it goes. You was better than me, but it was my damn team. <laughs> so believe it or not, all these years in the business, what's probably one of the most exciting things? Because I kind of feel like it might be this it's, moment. It's, it's this moment. You know, I've had some some very uh, prominent, some good things have happened in my life. You know, Vibe, you were around when I did Vibe TV. Yes. You, you remember the Jamie Foxx show? Don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. Come on, talk about it. You know, it. I've shot comedy specials. Uh, my wife and I had uh, a, 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 a podcast called Date Night. Yes, I used to listen that to that. That was exciting. Mm -hmm. And this is all culminated into this moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? My directorial debut. So I just want to congratulate you again on that. And also, people can still get their laugh on. You putting on for the city of Inglewood. Yes, is that what you're doing? Yes. Once a month, 
my partners, actually my brothers, Derek Elliott and Sean Elliott, uh-huh. uh, we do a show in Inglewood at the Miracle Theater once a month. And actually, this Sunday, actually it's a Morningside All Years Reunion. Okay. Side City. Where the Monarchs at? Let me hear y'all. And there we go. One, two. Damn, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they with you, dog. They Man, riding these, with you, Chris. These might be some bots. That was too damn fast. <laughs> so at the Miracle Theater Sunday at 8 o'clock, yes. we are going down okay. uh, with a hell of a comedy show. The lineup is bananas. Melanie Camacho is going to be there. Uh, I need the list. She's super funny. She's super funny. She's man. probably the funniest person in the world. Love having her on the show, <laughs> She's man. brilliant. She's dark. She's unforgiving. And that's what comedy is all about. And you're going to have this show on Sunday night, and I can pretty much guarantee you guys will be celebrating based on the ticket sales at the box office your mouth, for Back on the Strip. Your mouth to all those people's ears. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Go get your tickets right now. Like I said, don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself, man. Congratulations Thank to you, man. bro. Thank you for always supporting, man. You know I got you. Yes, but my jumper is way wetter than yours now. Oh, no, yeah, no, no. I'm no. still playing four days a week. I know, but my jumper. Let me tell you something. Have you ever noticed Magic, Kobe, Jordan, when they got older and couldn't do all that stuff? Yeah. Their jumpers got better? Yeah. That's me. Oh boy! So you still balling? Now, if you go, if you go to my left, uh, <laughs> I will tear ACL. <laughs> uh, there's no defense, but if I just stand still, and we, we, if we play horse, yeah, you got. Damn me. it, I'm winning. All right, but if we play 21, well, yeah. I'm gonna have to sit down. <laughs> KD Nation, make sure you go out support back on the strip in theaters today all weekend long. We got nothing else to do. This, this what hurricane should be hitting on Sunday, so go I see know. it before that. I, that kind of trips me out a little bit. God don't want me to be successful, do he? It's going to happen, man. Strike, hurricane. What's next? <laughs> earthquake? No, man. It's going to be a round of applause on Sunday at your comedy show Absolutely. celebrating the box office. Bro. Yes. How can they follow you if KD Nation tapped in right now? How can they follow Listen, you on IG? Instagram, The Real Chris Spencer. Facebook, just Chris Spencer. Mm-hmm. Uh, for those of you over 60, uh, MySpace, Chris Spencer. Okay. Uh, and then those of you who just got out of jail, Black Planet, Chris Spencer. <laughs> I said black man. First of all, he said it's my space. Is it still existing? I don't even I think have, it is. I have no the older people know. Uh, Actually know. I did I should say that around I just, oh black planet for the old people uh-huh. and my space for the dudes that just got out of jail. <laughs> Some dude told me the other day, not too long ago, he got an album out that's on MySpace. Really? I said, Do you have a time machine so I could go hear it? <laughs> <'Cause there's no laughs> By the way, Chris Spencer will make you laugh. Go get your laugh on whenever he's live on stage doing this comedy. Once again, congratulations, Thank my you, bro. brother. We're Thank gonna you. end with a song you want to get into some ice cube no Come vaseline on, i'm from la homie let's you got to it. play some from la all right let's I'm from get it actually but i have to make the diamond graphic feel bigger <laughs> it's 95 k day